Uh, super emotional, you know. I've been wanting this win for a long time and I was determined to win one more before the end of the season and coming up to Mexico, I, maybe I was a bit too pushy on the comments saying that Mexico was a good opportunity to win and put myself under a bit of pressure there, but actually it worked, you know. I, I was feeling it because I felt like I could be strong here. I knew my parents were coming, my two best friends, uh, my girlfriend, I was going to be obviously under a lot of support here and yeah, I felt like it was a, a good chance to do it in front of all the Mexican fans and uh, I definitely was determined and I I think it looked like it in the race with the move on Max and uh, yeah, we, we, we made it happen. You know, I, I always go into the races and I expect good battles and fair battles and of course, you know, I expect a tough battle with Max. Um, this just, I don't want to complain about it, you know, because I, I really, this is what I love. I love going into races and knowing like we're going to have a good battle today and he's going to put up a good fight and all of those things. And I look forward to it, but, but things like today are just a bit too far, in my opinion, and obviously in the stewards' opinions too. Uh, and I'll say probably the majority of people's opinions. Um, and that's just not how I think many people like to go racing. But I, I respect Max a lot. I, I want to race hard against him. But um, yeah, if I didn't do what I did today and avoid him, I'd uh, probably be out of the race, you know? So it's, um, it's tough, but uh, I played my cards well. I, I knew what to expect in many ways. And um, uh, yeah, points are, are good for me at the minute and uh, we'll just keep our heads down. Uh, I mean, happy for the team, obviously disappointing on my side. Uh, it's been a weekend where I was a bit off. Having said that, when you are P3 uh, on a weekend off, it's uh, not that bad. And, the points are scored all over the course of the season and I think it's been a pretty strong season but sometimes it happens. It hasn't been a very clean weekend for me. FP1 very few laps, FP2 we, have, we had few problems and then I was always on the back foot. So uh, it's the way it is. However, I feel like I've maximised my performance this weekend. There wasn't much more into the car. On the first scene I felt like I had quite a good pace but I had to uh, manage temperatures pretty quickly and then um, and then that was it. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, it was. I was it wasn't looking so racy in the first stint, which is a bit frustrating. I had taken too much front wing out of the car and had so much understeer. And I, once you start, that's it. You, you're stuck with it. Um, if I hadn't had that, then I think we would have had a much better race. But anyways, the set, I still would have finished fourth. So, in the end, I'm, I'm happy with the second stint. Had some good battles, came back, which is good. We've got to trust the numbers at the end of the day, and there's nothing suggesting that the new stuff is not performing as, as it should be. Um, you know, I'll be on the new stuff next week, so that'd be good to get back on onto that. When you look at our pace in the midfield and the back, it's probably greater than ever, and compared to Red Bull as well, but McLaren and Ferrari have just done something exceptional recently, and we want to try and find out what that that is well i mean at the end of the day if you agree with it or not it doesn't matter because the penalties are given so um that's also honestly not my biggest problem of the race my biggest problem was that we just had no pace um yeah just struggling a lot on the on the tires um yeah couldn't really attack and i couldn't follow ferrari and, and mclaren it, it, it was a perfect day really um got everything right the balance in the car was just in that sweet spot and I was able to just really manage the tyres and, and push hard and, you know, manage the tyres when I needed to and, and push them when I needed to as well. So, um, yeah, P7 was better than we could have could have hoped for because we had Piastri who was, we, we had him cruising through the field and and it didn't happen. So uh, I was able to just, just about manage to uh, keep him behind. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't think we were lacking any yesterday. I think I just made a mistake, which made it even more painful, to be honest. So, um, yeah, obviously today's result was purely down to, to yesterday. Um, but I felt like I had good pace in, in qualifying or through practice. Um, just obviously made the mistake in quality. And then in the race, once I had some clean air, I felt very strong again. So, um, just yeah, just a bit of a... A shame that we uh, didn't get a, a better result this weekend. It feels very good, very re rewarding. I think uh, you know everyone's work is paying off, and uh, we're we're a consistent contender for points, which is obviously great news. Uh, I think four points in a, four times points in a row now for me, including the the sprint in Austin, that shows the the consistency that we have within the package and car. And 
yeah, it makes me look forward to uh, next week and uh, the, the three after as well. Congrats. Thanks, Nico. Since uh, we brought the upgrades in Austin, so you know, we, we've managed to do two Q3 in a row now in the last two weekends. Racing Austin was difficult. Today was also quite tricky, but uh, at least we managed to finish in the top 10. But um, yeah, there's still some work for us, but at least we're definitely making progress. Okay. I think we're 40 seconds behind Magnussen in the Haas. So, uh, you know, we're in a midfield fight, but we're 40 seconds behind uh, them today. So, um, yeah, a lot of work to do. Yeah, it was, it was a good race. Um, of course, starting from P16 with uh, McLaren and, and a Red Bull behind, it was always going to be tricky. But look, we, we did a good job. I think we maximized what we had to, this weekend. Um, qualifying was very tough for us. It was car was not in a good place. We were struggling a lot with the rear. Uh, this track that the rears overheat so much. When you have a balance like that, it's very difficult to take the rears uh, through a lap. And after a slide in T3, it's uh, snap four, snap in five, snap in six, and you know it's like a snowball. And it, it was not a a good qualifying for us, the car uh, was not in the sweet spot and uh, I think today we try to maximize what, what we had, you know. Yeah, a long race this afternoon, I would say, um, you know, a couple of fights, but um, eventually we were not quick enough, you know, to, to be able to come back uh, from starting last, so we end up 13th, that's all there was today. I think we maximized today, I think, um, yeah, I wouldn't really do, do anything different. Yeah, we, we tried to extend the first stint in, in hope for something, but um, yeah, no, no luck. But um, at least we could find, fight a little bit today, which really hasn't been the case in the, in the previous events. So that's a bit more, bit more positive. So um, at least, yeah, I hope it's not only this, this track or, or I hope more, more hope that we're in the right way. Yeah, because uh, I have quite a lot of issues on the brakes, so I need to lift like... Uh, Overlap like a two second per lap at, after, let's like, say, the first five six laps. Otherwise, the pace was good. We was catching the, the pack together. We was together with McLaren, people around us. But then when the brake issue came, the race kind of just went away. But uh, yeah, very yeah, very disappointing, especially when we had a package that was strong this weekend. Um, yeah, obviously uh, a, a tough race. I think. Um, we tried the the strategy that worked last week, and it just didn't work today. Um, we needed that clean air and unfortunately we spent the whole race just behind the, behind the gearbox of another car so um, it was just frustrating. Yeah, I think it was looking great the, the start at uh, the beginning. Although with the penalty I think we, we should have scored points today. Um, we were making progress, we were about to, to get into the points early on in the race with, uh, with Liam. And um, yeah, I had the, I had the, the position, I was, I was ahead into turn five. He was off the track, came back. I wasn't expecting him just to carry on straight, and and, and uh, yeah, he took the the whole side of the car off. Um, but I don't think it's his fault, you know, because he doesn't get any penalty. He did the same to Fernando last weekend. He did the same to Franco at the end of the race, um, and no penalty. So maybe depends who you are. It depends the penalty you get. Okay, the start was good. Obviously, a lot of uh, action in front of us, so we capitalized on that. But. Uh, Apparently there is a little bit of debris on the front brake dots and the temp temperatures were over the moon. So we tried to mitigate that, moving the brake balance rear wheels and, and different actions, but uh, still um, not under control. So unfortunately we had to retire the car a little bit unlucky today. Yeah, we've had a tough few races. I feel like we've, if we take the positives, we've learned quite a lot this weekend. I think we've um, finally started to understand where maybe some of the not, it's not issues, but, but just creating some of the balances that we were struggling with the last few races. And it was looking positive for the race as well. I think we, we should have been able to score some points, but uh, that's a positive. Obviously, hopefully we can um, get some points next time. Um, yeah, obviously feeling really bad. Um, nothing to say, to be honest. Um, the only thing I can say is the uh, I mean, mechanics did a fantastic job to uh, repair the car and everything and to bring up, bring to the grid and um, yeah. In a few seconds, I'm, I'm out, so I don't want to say I'm, I know apologies to the, to the mechanics who prepared for me. Um, they obviously very, very disappointed I didn't able to make it up for the, um, um, the crash that I had yesterday. So yeah, it's, it's I don't know, it's something just, uh, it's been, it's going around like uh, last few weeks, so yeah, I can't, I can't say anything.